like you to help me welcome the returning second time reading varsity football team division eight 2019 state champions let's give them a quick round of applause right now <clears throat> certainly want to uh, uh thank everyone that has made this possible uh senator thank you for bringing us back and uh uh, Representative Lloyd Hofser as well. Um, this is a great group of young men. Uh, we're here representing reading community. Um, for the second year in a row, we appreciate being here. We do not take it for granted. We realize not everyone gets a chance to be on this floor, and we certainly appreciate that. We would like to take this time to thank our community and our school and our um, uh, just everyone connected to reading the Hillsdale County as well. They followed us uh, and supported us all year, and uh, we certainly appreciate that. As you can see, our young men here, um, this, for a small school, we have some large bodies, <laughs> and uh, we use that to our benefit all season long. And uh, like Senator Shirky said, that... Um, uh, their dedication, their heart is what made this possible. And uh, I'm so grateful to be a part of these young men and our assistant coaching staff uh, behind me. You're uh, giving a lot of credit in the interviews and, and the things I've read as we follow the season to your assistant coaches. And some of that started with the, the reading way. Uh, you, you quoted Jack Kerspilo is, is talking about the reading way. What's the reading way? Right. I, it's hard to describe. I, I think it's a family atmosphere. I think every school tries to uh, do that. But uh, when I came as as a young man, uh, Jack Crispillo took me in. Uh, I mean, he wasn't old enough to be my father, but he was certainly a father figure, older brother figure. Taught us the right way to do things, um, and. I don't all of the coaching staff, uh, we've all been influenced by Jack and what he represented and then we try to, uh, that's the way we were taught, so we try to do the same things, treat people the right way, uh, don't take shortcuts, uh, make sure that everything we do is the correct way that it's supposed to be done. You've, you've got community support, you talked about that, the whole town went to Ford Field, I think. Right. Uh, and, and I think the community was behind you last year, obviously. You had that whole terrific ride. Was there an expectation from the community that this was going to be a special year? Did you, did you feel that as an extra burden, or how did you deal with that, yeah. the expectations yeah. this year? Well, I think there was uh, more pressure on uh, the young men. To, uh, I think there was, uh, we knew we had a good group coming back and a good group moving up from the junior varsity team. And... Uh, you know, the first game didn't go quite the way we wanted it to, but uh, it, it was a tough opponent. And uh, by playing Pawama Westphalia, yeah. who's also a state champion, uh, it gave us incentive to work hard through the summer. Maybe it uh, wasn't according to plan, really, if you look at it that way. Right. Yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people say, well, oh, you know, you learned a lesson by losing. I, I don't like to lose. We don't like to lose. Uh, so I don't know if we learned a lesson from the game, but it did prepare us for the for the upcoming season. And uh, we knew what it was going to take to win uh, after that game. Um, and uh, credit goes to all of our players. They just uh, they have a great ability to focus on the task at hand. They earn the right to uh, make the playoffs and then they earned the right to be in the state championship game and they certainly earned the victory when they were there. How about a show of hands, how many, how many athletes here have been in the weight room since the uh, state championship? And, uh, and how many are, yeah, and how many are multi, multi-sport athletes? This is a terrific thing, this yeah. is, this is uh, I think almost all of them. Uh, we try to get them to play three sports if they can, but uh, almost all of them are multi-sport athletes or, or in other extracurriculars. We have people in the band, uh, we have people that uh, are, participate in the plays and whatnot. So uh, we think that's all important. Uh, it's part of the family. 
uh, you know, so that we can uh, cheer them on in in the other sports. And and you mentioned our, our assistant coaches. You know, uh, Mitch Hubbard has been with me for 31 years. Uh, you know, him, yeah. and yeah. Uh, Brad, 23 years. Um, Brett Crispillo, Derek Bassage, Brett Bailey, they all played for me. And, uh, you know, uh, I think Brett Crispillo's on his 15th year uh, here. So that kind of, uh, it's, it's not just me that stays. Right. We've all stayed. And I think that just speaks for our, our town, our school, our community, and, and hopefully a little bit of the football program as well. Well said. Well, it's, again, a, a great honor to welcome the Reading High School football team to the Capitol, where they're being recognized today on the floor of the Senate and House and uh, being a, given a tribute for repeating as back-to-back -back Division Eight state champions. And they are great examples of student-athletes, and we're happy to have them here.